Oh, you want a tour. Fed BB. My home recording studio at 16. Video 4. My home recording studio tour. It rhymes. Hi, my name is Vera. I'm 16 years of youth and I'm an aspiring singer, songwriter, performer, and musician. And um, I have a home recording studio. To see how I got to this point, I recommend watching my other three videos. I'm going to produce my own music at 16, how much is a home recording studio, and home recording studio essentials. In my next video of the series, I will put this baby to action and we will create something together. All three of us. Just me, my home recording studio, and you. <laughs> because we... We are a team, period. Anyway, the home recording studio, well, it's kind of a big project. So far, it's been taking me one and a half months to build and two and a half months to just make the project come true. The anticipation is killing me and I just can't wait any longer. So I'm gonna show it to you. Yeah, I bet you wanna see what the hype is all about. Well, the hype comes in four parts. First is the brain. Then we have the space, the voice, and others. Cut to the brain. I do not fear computers, I fear lack of them. By Isaac A, an American writer and professor at Boston University. The brain of my home recording studio is obviously my computer over here, this beach. I actually had a whole computer dilemma where I ordered it with a special offer and I was supposed to get free AirPods and also a bunch of apps in a bundle for $200. But guess what? The order magically canceled by itself. Apparently it didn't even register in their system. Get this. Three weeks later, I had to order it again. And since then, I've just been waiting in anticipation. Did I cry the first time? No. I certainly did not. Let's take a closer look. Mama must. So as you can see here, this is my laptop. <laughs> this is my desktop. I've installed all the essential applications. They're about, hmm, I don't know, maybe 20 of them, maybe not. They include Premiere Pro, which is where I edit Photoshop Pro and Logic and a bunch of other shit. <laughs> Just a bitch, <laughs> A bunch of other stuff, sorry. Um, the most that I do. The. So overall, with the computer, I'm doing great considering I only got it the day before yesterday. My computer came! There's the package! I'm excited. Girl, tell me why my 16 years of youth are just freaking shrieked. But it's a pretty exciting time! Let's open this baby up! <laughs> yeah! Oh, shit! Yeah, yeah! Okay. Do not mind my additional articles of clothing over here. It's a mess. I know, nobody said my room was clean. My first ever Apple computer. <laughs> my first Apple computer I bought for myself. <sighs> Shit, y'all. Oh my god. Look at her. Alright. Cool stuff. Oh my god, I can't. And this torture to a musician's ears. Ow. Here's my computer. Baby, I work for you, not in the The brain is expensive, but without it, you just can't seem to think. A quote by Moa. Space. Space is an inspirational concept that allows you to dream big by Peter Diamandis, a Greek-American engineer, physician, and entrepreneur, CEO of the Zero Gravity Corporation. For the longest time, I have... <laughs> <laughs> the light is a little bit lagging. For the longest time, I have thought of myself as an aspiring minimalist, but taking a look at my room, it's just clearly not true. I can't imagine myself working within bare walls. It seems kind of sad. But at the same time, I don't really like cluster either. So in conclusion, it's a tightrope that we're walking. <laughs> there we go. Sorry. It's okay. But I actually decorated my space. meaning literally because this is space. It's actually a metaphor for a lot of things and it's pretty symbolic in about a billion different ways. First one being my whole YouTube project, it's called Ad Astra, which means to the stars. You know where there are stars? Do you know where there are stars? <laughs> right in here, beach. Those are the stars. Do you also see the mountains? Now if we take a look back at our desktop, <laughs> the cameraman is doing a great job. Here's the mountain. It's a little oversaturated, but it's still there. There's so many mountains because I'm going to Mount Everest Beach. Metaphorically, not physically, though I do applaud anyone who goes through such physical constraint. Also, let's <laughs> just stand up for a sec. <laughs> this part of my space is decorated with the records. There's Mr. Pavarotti here, and then there's um, Enrico Caruso. So basically, they're great singers that I take inspiration from. Have I listened to those records? No. 
but I am inspired by them nonetheless. And here is a picture of the Live Aid concert, which continues to fuel my idea for my concert, which is the biggest concert in the world. And it's gonna happen on June 25th, 2029. At least that's what's in the plants. Okay, cut. The voice. The voice of passion is better than the voice of reason. The passionless cannot change history. By Czesław Milosz, a Polish-American poet, prose writer, translator, and diplomat. The voice of a human is vibrations. The microphone makes digital, unhuman, robot-like. A quote by moi. The microphone is the heart, thus the voice of my home recording studio. This is actually a Shure SM50. The light girl. Don't lose the light. This is actually a Shure SM58 and it's my first ever microphone. <laughs> Lost my microphone virginity. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. Anyway, so I actually already had my first ever microphone check. Do you want to see? I know you do. Roll the footage. I just plugged in my mic for the first time into the amplifier. Here she is. Hello, yeah. Shake up. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, she's sweet but a psycho. A little bit psycho. And now she's screaming, oh, my mama, mama. mama. Hello everybody, thank you for so kindly joining us today. If you would so kindly purchase a ticket on your way out to my concert, that'd be great. Ugh, it's time to bust out the grandpa vest and just relax. Others. I don't believe that they're aliens, I believe they're really different people. By Orson Scott Card, an American novelist, critic, public speaker, essayist, and columnist. The others are alien. Isolated and alone, like seedlings of a bud in space. By moi. I'm kidding. Again, I don't think buds have seedlings in space, do they? Anyway, so here are some of the other tools that I have. <laughs> it's okay. I'll just bring it over. So I think one of the most important others tools that I have are the headphones. These are um, sound isolating and up until yesterday, I've been using them to go to the gym. I think I still will, honestly. So they function pretty good. Technically in a home recording studio, you're supposed to have speakers, but it's kind of hefty on the price. So for now, the headphones should do. Uh, the next that we have is this little baby. It's an audio interface. It's the most standard one that there is. And it's tiny, but supposedly you need it for the studio. Literally every source told me that I need it, so I got it. And also, kind of a little Easter egg surprise, is that there is gonna be a MIDI keyboard. Here's my actual keyboard. Don't mind the water bottles. A MIDI is a smaller keyboard that you can use for effects and you can kind of use it more freely for different sounds. You should check out video five of the series that is coming next week to see my beautiful, cherished, and loved two octave piano, aka the MIDI keyboard. Yay! The conclusion. Congratulations, you have made it to the end, soldier. <laughs> <laughs> that demands respect, so pat yourself on your shoulder, why don't you? Anyway, anyway. Uh. In conclusion, I'm very much grateful for this beautiful space. I enjoy spending time in it. And I bought it all myself, which makes me feel very proud. We ain't quitters, we're the babysitters. And I mean that literally, because that babysitting coin be hidden. The point is, this is one of a billion new beginnings and steps before I reach my Mount Everest that will probably change a billion times. And that's okay, because you're here with me and we're on this journey together. Subscribe to make our connection official and permanent. And if you give this video a thumbs up, you get bragging rights. This is it. I wonder how many musical masterpieces are going to come out of this space. Thanks. See you Fridays at 7 and Tuesdays at 11.